around, everybody. We want to welcome everybody. My name is Pastor Andy. I am the children's pastor here. And um, yes, I am wearing these amazing socks. Some of you guys are like, ooh, those are fashionable socks. Look at these things. You guys go and zoom in on that. Number one, Dad. Proof I am number one, Dad. My girl said I had to wear these socks today, so I want to prove to them I am wearing them. Thank you so much, my lovely family over here. Thank you so much. Happy Father's Day to you all. It is great to have you all here today. Man, we all have an amazing Father, a Father in Heaven, uh, Abba Father in Heaven. He is a loving, giving, amazing God who just 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 wants to lavish on you and worship you, and we want you to worship on oh, Him. Oh, hey, Zoopy to do doll. How are y'all doing today? Hey, it's my good friend Reggie Riddle, the leader of the Riddle Rangers. My friend, I, I hope you had a better week than last week. Did you? Is it, uh, sure, man. It's Sunday, and I'm planning on going to finish some time in my van down by the river. You know, fishing, you know. Ah, oh, great, man. Cool, cool. Well, right. you know, I'm always fishing for questions that I never seem to get an answer to. Well, that's true. You, you are. You always ask the oddest questions. Uh, what'd you bring for us today? Well, if a cab driver takes you home in reverse, does he owe you money? Oh, I never thought about that. Um... In another thing. Okay. Why is it when Donald Duck steps out of the shower, he's wearing a towel, but he never wears any pants? Ooh. Weird. Y'all know why? You have any answers for that? I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But what I really want to know is, what is Jesus? Is Jesus some sort of vine that bears a lot of fruit? Is he a shepherd that we're supposed to listen to and follow? Is he some sort of light that directs us in the direction of where God is? I just don't know what Jesus is. Well, I gotta go. The fish are really biting today. Bye, everybody. Man, bye, Reggie. Man, Reggie asks a great question, man. He asks a really great question. What is Jesus? You know, when we ask that question, some of us, we know what Jesus is to us. We know who he is to us. He's personal. But when we think about how do we tell our friends? How do we tell our guys in school? How do we tell our co-workers? What is Jesus? What is Jesus? Well, there's, it's really hard. But today, guys, we're going to go into John chapter 14. So parents, if you have your Bibles, open your Bible apps or your Bibles for your kids. Kids, join us. And at home, too, you guys at home, make sure you're joining us, John chapter 14. We're going to real quick go through this, guys. I think we've spent three weeks now talking about Jesus and who Jesus is. We've been going through some of the physical senses that humans have of what Jesus is. And we're going to be starting here. We've talked about, while you're looking for John 14, we talked about how Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. We need to be touching God. God needs to be, Jesus needs to be touching us. We need to be in connection with him. And then in week number two, we said that Jesus, so we have that Jesus is the vine, right? Jesus is the vine. And we also said that Jesus is the good shepherd. We need, to be, we need to be the shepherd, the sheep who are listening for the shepherd. So we need to be using our senses of hearing. And last week, and no, I'm not going to blast you guys with the light again, but we talk about how Jesus is the light of the world. So we need to be seeing him and other people need to be seeing Jesus in us. And here in chapter 14, verse number 6, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. You guys hear that? Jesus is the way for everything. Every year, uh, right before New Year's Day, I'm always praying that God gives me some sort of word or phrase or something that I can use as my mantra, my, ma- my battle cry, whatever it is. Whatever is like, I need some strength for that year. One year, it was the word dedicate. And God, I felt like God was telling me I need to dedicate more of myself in different areas. This year, for 2020, I really prayed hard, God, what is the word for the year? And he gave me the word, the most oddest word, victory. Now, I know a lot of you are like, well, I don't see much victory in 2020, but, but hear me out, guys. Hear me out. There's a reason for that. As, I, as we go back and a little bit further down in chapter 14, starting at verse number 12, I, Jesus is still talking here. I tell you the truth. Anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. Whoa. Faith in Jesus and you will be doing what Jesus is doing. That's a win. That's a huge win right there. All right? And he, tell, uh, he will even do greater things than these. Greater things? Than, what, what, are you serious? Because I am going to the Father, and I will do whatever you ask in my name. Well, that sounds like a win right there, too. And, and so that my Son may bring glory to the Father. You may ask for anything in my name, and I will do it. You know, there's a crazy thing here, guys. Think about it. 
Did you catch all that? Did you catch everything that was going to happen? So what is Jesus? What do we tell everybody else out there? What do we tell people? What is Jesus? Jesus is victory. He is victory. Think about it. Jesus didn't just die on a cross. He rose again from the grave. He had victory over death. And then Jesus, and then Jesus says, hey, bring your sorrows, bring your sins, bring your troubles, lay them at the cross, and I will make you victorious over them. I will make you victorious over them. So he gives us victory that way. And then Jesus is, he's the, he's the bridge. He's the bridge of the gap between here and eternity, which is eternal victory in heaven with our loving Father. So guys, on the count of three, what is Jesus? One, two, three. Hey, so when somebody says it, everybody say it with me. Jesus is? Jesus is? All right, yeah, awesome, man. That's what Jesus is. Jesus is victory. So let's remember that. Let's tell everybody what, when somebody says, what is Jesus? You tell them Jesus is victory. And man, this is so much fun, man. I've been enjoying this, but I want to remind you guys a couple of things. Number one, that, that we are going to be, whole, we should be opening our K-5 classroom for any children who are in kindergarten this coming year through fifth grade. We will be starting that next week, just for that one room right there. There's the one room next door. So uh, make sure that you are bringing your families out next week for sure. Also, we're going to continue this conversation of John 14 tomorrow in our TC3 Kids Zoom. Oh, wait, wait, hold on a second. You're not in TC3? Why are your kids not in TC3 Zoom? Why are they not plugged in? Well, that's because you're not asking for an invitation, guys. So ask, email me. Send an, uh, an email to me asking for an invitation. Andy at tc3.church, and I'll get you guys. Tomorrow we have a very, very special guest star who's going to be on our TC3 Kids Zoom. We've got like 20 plus kids every week in this. That's right. Larry knows. He knows. He's excited. So, man, we, I want to uh, just, you know, just, just, just really get your kids into that. Also, who, just raise your hand or just give me a victory if you love free donuts. So Monday, that's right. There, there you go. Free donuts, guys, on Wednesday. So Monday, we have our, our TC3 Kids Zoom. On Wednesday, I, will be, I won't be giving out free donuts. Not these little 50-cent cheapy donuts, man. We're, everybody think about it. Jupiter Donuts. I'm going to be down in Stewart handing out free donuts for any kids who come here and tell me our, our, our power verse, John 15.5. We're going to put that on the screen right now. John 15.5. If you can come and tell me, if you memorize it, even better. Or if you can read it from, your book, from the Bible or your paper. But we're going to be reading John 15.5. And any kid who comes to me this Wednesday from the hours of 9 to 11 at Jupiter Donuts in Stewart, okay, I will be out there buying free donuts for all the kids that come out there. So meet me out there, guys. Meet me out there this Wednesday. This Wednesday, okay? All right, so guys, we're going to close with our Bible verse here. Everybody say this with me. On the, oh, a power verse. It was there a second ago. I think it was up there. There it is. Awesome. Everybody on the count of three. One, two, three. I am the vine. You are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear be much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. John 15, 5. Hey, guys, don't forget that when you hit those doors, that's where the mission field begins. You guys have a great week. Bye.